All right, but we're gonna we're gonna actually stay. Uh, we're gonna stick to the actual story for a little bit. We're not gonna get distracted by side quest stuff. Hopefully, we're actually gonna make progress. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Oh wait, isn't she that, uh... Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, she's the other vampire. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Well, uh, <laughs> Swansea's fancies vampires. Yeah, he, like, vampires are generally a big threat. This man has two on the payroll. Say what you will, man has charisma. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Well, uh, I'm here to help you. Hold on, wait. Patients giving you trouble? Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. I believe you. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Hmm, hmm, I see. Well, I'm here to help you, ma'am. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Why not solve it yourself? Is it because you'll be outed or something? If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. You know what? I get that. My boy Thorfinn, he, he, he learned that lesson. He's becoming a better person for us. So you know what? I understand you. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Hmm. Is it true? Uh, I don't think it's pertinent for me to ask if it's true or not, because, I mean, whether or not it is true, the facts, like, it's going to coincide regardless, so... I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life... As others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. 
I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Hmm, I see. I scratch my back, I scratch yours, whatever kind of thing. Also, I know this man's in excruciating pain, but he's not asleep. So he heard everything. And anyone just walking by is like, wait, wait a second, vampires? Excuse me? We have vampires working for us? Hello, uh, you're Tippets, right? I wish I could be sick again. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor. Ooh, shady business in the hospital. Have you heard of any underhand dealings within the hospital? I don't have time for such nonsense, Doctor. I've work to do. Uh, wait a second. Right, right, right. This was the lady, um, this was the woman who was blackmailing the, uh, well, I can't remember her name, but she was, uh, she was blackmailing him. She's like, okay, pay for the room. And she just paid for it immediately. So you seem nervous. Are you certain? You seem nervous. If you have something in mind, just speak up, doctor. Otherwise, stop breathing down my neck. Oh, oh, mister. Or missus. Blackmail is a serious matter, Nurse Hawkins. Everything is serious around here, Dr. Reed. Starting with patients who need me. Mm-hmm. Sure thing, honey buns. Have you heard? I don't have. Hmm. Goodbye. And nothing else was said about that at all. I see. Simpletons, these nurses, bred with no respect. Fair. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Doctor Reed. The new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Well, he's died, so I'm here to take over. Please calm down, ma'am. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. <laughs> I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet oh. Jones? <laughs> Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Ooh! <laughs> you like gossip? If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Yo, I like her. Let's fucking go, Harriet. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. <laughs> All right, but it's not about a medical error, man. It's not about, like, popping veins. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. All right, Harriet. All right. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Hey, Hawkins. Hey, Pippa. Where are you? I need to talk to you really fast. 
Hmm. That's weird. Where, where are they? I think... Wait, can I move? Okay, there we go. Dine, find Dorothy in the area. Press V to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at the citizen, you unlock a special interaction. Look for Dorothy Crane. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Okay, Nurse Crane, what do you just give that man? And she didn't see anything. Of course. I need to investigate this specifically further. I know I should be looking at everyone else, but... There's something up. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. There's a there's a walk button, isn't there? Isn't it R? No, it's Q. It's Q. Blood and plenty of it. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. A rogue skull. Ooh. And yum yum yum. Oh. oh, I forgot that I have my controller in. Pull up, pull up, pull up. It's... Good. Retrieve a thug from the sewers. Common barbed kugel. Kugel. Kajal. I've never known how to pronounce that word. Cut goal. Hmm. Where, oh, where is my friend, Mr. Thug? Oh, he sees me. Unfortunate for him. He could have lived at least three seconds longer if he didn't do that. The Ban of the Dragon. What is it? What? Hold on, I gotta look at that. What's the ban of the dragon? <clears throat> Concerning the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, I would advise our members to be very wary of these so-called scholars. Yes, indeed, most of them are always affable and respectful whenever they approach us. But it would be unwise for a discreet circle of the Ascatlon, Ascalon Club to foolishly speak about our goals, our members, or our traditions. I would also like to remind our fellow members that the Brotherhood itself is ancient enough to have some mysterious traditions. One of them, according to the informants, could be the ritual of the so-called Ban of the Dragon. 
It seems that, in certain conditions, when the brothers of St. Paul find a violent or bloodthirsty immortal, they call upon him this ban. What is it exactly? I don't know. Does it really exist? I don't know for sure either. But what I've established is facts. It is, it is that whenever a hostile or vindictive vampire is threatened London, it disappeared without a trace after the Brotherhood pronounced a ban upon him. The loyal Fergal Bansha himself has never been foolish enough to openly provoke the Brotherhood. This is a lesson we must all remember. Never be considered a dragon by the Brotherhood. Weird. Okay, so they, they do this ban of the dragon on you and then you just become gone? Oop. The sewer beast. Oh god! What sort of creature is this? It's a sewer dog! Finally! I've been waiting to meet you, my friend. You know, I wish I could unlock you as a pet, but pets don't exist in this game. Yum, yum, blood for me. Oh god! Okay, I just gotta back off for now. Just, just heal, just heal. Just focus on healing for now. I'll be taking that. I have been fighting this dude for like five minutes. Die already. Oh my god. Oh my. Search the thug's corpse. Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check. I can't believe what he just went to die here. God lord. If you're sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea for help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petruku's house. And present this coupon. Huh. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? Mm. I really must find her. Yes, you really must. Truly. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Blood for me. Was that it? Was that just all of them? Or is there more for me to explore there? Citizen to save. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive this next night. Go check on him. Oh, there's a citizen I need to save? What up, buddy? Don't worry, my man. I've got you. I just took on the sewer dog for you, buddy. Hi. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, okay. Mr. Thatcher, you're it's safe fine. now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Farewell. You rescued a citizen. He will return to his district the following night. All right. Also, I'm going to unplug my controller because that was very distracting. Okay, so Nurse Crane was ext like doing free checkups. Like I guess for like the better like the greater good, but at the same time Oh, are you a your skull?
perfectly as planned. Hey, wait a second. How did I come out here? What the... Um... Should I not? Am I... Really, this isn't where I came out of. Where it came in. Huh. Alright, then. Rogue Skull, 11. Oh, jeez. Perish. Reach Whitechapel. So I don't need to search anyone else. It was just Crane that was... Poplar Foberg? Where in the... Where in the world am I? This isn't the hospital. Are you dead? No, quiet, quiet, nope. Where the hell am I? How did I get here? I'm 300 meters away from where I need to be. What the hell happened to me? Oh, uh, you know what? Get that weapon! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ow! Ow! I read you loud and clear. I'm out. Goodbye. Adios. Farewell. You'll always remember this is the day you almost caught Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm fucked, aren't I? Oh my god, he's a big boy. Holy shit. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? My brothers, please. I'm just a boy. Just keep going. Just keep going. Heal. Peace out. You'll never catch me. I, I do not know how I ended up here. I swear I went through the same exit. I won't go back in. I'll just, like, take the long way around, I guess? Yeah, here we are. What the... What the hell happened to me? I'm home. I'm home. But we got to get to Whitechapel now. Oh, am I finally strong enough to go into Whitechapel? Because that's the place where I got, like, destroyed multiple, multiple times. But first things first, I gotta, I gotta level up. All right, well, I guess we're going to Whitechapel, finally. What level is he again? 18. Nope. I'm picking my battles. Prewin Rookie. Anyone else around? Doesn't look like. Well, that was a fucking lie. Die. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, he's beat the shit out of me. Oh jeez. Not cool, man. Ah, 
Ow. No, you are. You're a little bitch. Yeah, yeah, you with a machine gun. You're a little bitch. Your mama raised a coward. That's right, I went there. That heals a lot more. Ow, you... Get back here. Nope. Nope. You're getting the suck. You're getting the big suck. I am sucking you dry. I don't care. This man is not having a good time. <laughs> and that is why you don't use grenades in battle, people. Otherwise, your enemy could just get really mad and then suck you dry. Amen. And hallelujah. Uh, hello, gents. Nice to see you. Lovely day, isn't it? Sure, it would be nice if you didn't... Well... Nice well lasted. Oh, I'm so cornering myself. All right, it's just me and you, bud. You just me and you. <laughs> you can't catch me. You can't catch me. So, who's gonna make the first move? <laughs> Hello. I win. All right, the report about Pembroke, 2nd of November, from Scout Louis Cagney to Mr. Jeffrey McCullum, Object Pembroke Hospital Survey Vampire Activity. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, and we can confirm vampire activity there. First, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental pa <laughs> She acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I have personally snuck inside the hospital and heard her th heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decay. <laughs> but it gets worse. The administrator of the Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea. According to our team leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against a skull by the canal, canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on at the Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires? Protected by those bloody traitors of the stole? We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. I can't believe that they think she is an actual vamp. <laughs> oh my lord. what I get? What, what did I just get there? A used Prillin steak. Ooh. Is that better than my steak now? Ooh. Plus, oh, 15 stun. Uses a bit more stamina, but you know what? It's worth it. It is, is pretty worth it. All right. Large box of pills, small bottle. But no, you see, you see, you see, uh, you see now how craft, Croft, I can't remember her name. Uh, this is why you don't go around whining that you're a vampire, because people can hear you. And in a time when vampires are a very big threat in the world, probably not a good idea to be saying you are one, because people are not going to take very nicely to that. And again, why do people openly just talk? about the fact that they're vampires, assuming no one can listen. Because everyone is guilty of that in this game, at least once. There's not a single innocent person who has, who, who's innocent of that. They've all done it. Every single one of them. 